You may have heard the term swarm of bees before. Perhaps you've used that term yourself. A lot of people use that to simply describe a, a whole lot of bees somewhere. I've had people tell me they had a swarm of bees on their hummingbird feeder, or bees are swarming their flowers. So what actually is a swarm? A swarm is actually a very specific thing and a very specific process that honeybees use in order to reproduce. This queen inside of here is laying eggs, increasing the population, especially in the spring. When that population gets large enough and there's enough nectar coming in, the bees will start filling the area where she used to lay new eggs that turned into larva and then brood and then emerging honeybees. And instead of using this big area to develop that brood, it'll be shrunk down smaller and smaller and filled with nectar. When it gets small enough, the bees will be prepared to swarm. And what that means is they will prepare a special cell inside of this colony that is larger than the normal worker or even drone cells. It's called, a, at first it's called a queen cup. And then the queen will lay an egg inside of this cup. The worker bees will take special care of that egg and develop it into a new queen. This is done by giving this young larva as it develops extra amounts of royal jelly and withholding pollen, which it was discovered that those small amounts of pollen is what turns off the reproductive ability of other worker bees. So this special cell gets developed, it's larger, that larva gets fed, fed a special blend of, of pure royal jelly and turns into eventually a capped queen cell. When that queen is in there and is about ready to emerge, the colony will take the old queen, who they've been getting ready by feeding her less and running around the cell, uh, the, the comb, getting her to thin out and lose a good amount of her body weight so she can fly. And half of those bees, or more sometimes, inside of that colony will all at once rush out of the colony with that old queen. Now this cloud of bees is what we call a swarm of honeybees. And here is what that swarm looks like once it's left the colony. Inside of this huge cluster of honeybees is the queen, typically the old queen, being protected by the rest of the bees. And on the outside, bees are coming and going looking for new home sites. It might take a day or two for them to find one. Um, they go out, look for places, come back, and they actually do a waggle dance to report to the rest of these bees where the location they found was and how good it was. Eventually, more will go check out that location, and when they agree, all at once, this huge cluster of bees will take flight and go move into that new home site. And once that's established, then you have two colonies. This is how the colony reproduces on a colony level. As a beekeeper, these swarms reduce our chances of getting a good honey crop. So we like to try to reduce the swarming. And in this case, this swarm did leave one of my colonies and uh, the landowner at the out yard that I have noticed it and let me know. So I'm here today to actually collect these and start a new colony in my own bee yard. Now what I have to do is shake them and get as many of them as I can right into this colony, or this hive rather.
a good sign that we have the queen in here is you see bees now coming in the entrance and in the top. So we'll leave them for about 20 minutes and uh, hopefully by then most of the bees will have moved in. Some always go back to where the, it was.